You'll never believe this, you're gonna poo your pants. <laughs> Those of you who haven't already pooed your pants. There's a woman in the audience, right? Tonight, on tonight's show. What she does is she gets names of famous people and they, they write their autographs on her arm or leg or other parts of her body. And then she gets it tattooed in and she has tattoos of famous people on tattooed on her. Come here. Do you want to now? I feel like jaywalking. <laughs> What's the capital of France? <laughs> Paris. That's right. Uh, now, um, correct. Now, uh, what is the? Who would have thought a young lady with piercings would have had tattoos too? <laughs> what's, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa. Uh, do you have uh, autographs of famous people on you? Who? who oh, wow. Oh. Who have you got here then? I have Gwyneth Paltrow, Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan writes like she's in ancient Egypt. Look at Meg Ryan's signature. Look at that. Is it just your arms or are you? Hey, steady, steady. Right. Steady. It's my side. It's your side, all right. Oh. But I have um, 85 tattoos and 66 autographs. Right. Well, well, if you go and sit down then, Melissa. Here. So here's the thing. I have not yet decided if I will sign Melissa or not. <laughs> Stay tuned and find out. We'll see you when the show starts. <laughs> now, listen, you probably stayed up this late thinking, will Craig sign Melissa's arm? Won't he sign Melissa's arm? I think if you'll see who's sitting next to me, you'll realize that Yes, in fact, I will sign Melissa's hand. Now, Melissa, where would you like me to sign you? Actors and actresses. This is mostly musicians. Musicians, this ain't actresses. I don't really count. Can I go somewhere in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I, I shouldn't do that. No, I'll, I'll go on the actor-actresses side. Who could I be next? Oh, no, it'd be, it would be sore to get a tattoo there. It doesn't matter. There. It matters to me, I Melissa. I have 155 more to go, so... You only have what? 155 more. Be glad that Maybe you're not you one of the last of... people. All because right. I'm going to have to end up wearing a G-string until these uh, premieres and stuff. All right, all right. I'm just going to sign this here. Now, do not use this tattoo to in some way forge your check. Let me just check that this... Oh, that's not... All right. Um, here I go. I'm going to write my name there. And then... I'll put, well, I'll put a little X there as well. That's, uh, that's a sort of short thing. It means a kiss. Thank you. <laughs> that's it, everybody. See you tomorrow night. Good night. I'm a bit distracted tonight. There's a really hot girl in the crowd. <laughs> I mean, there's more than one, obviously. You're all hot in your own way, but there's one of them in the crowd. <laughs> and she's wearing this dress. And when I came out, I just saw her. She's over there. <laughs> Don't look now! Don't look now! Don't look now! What the hell is wrong with you? She'll know we're looking! <laughs> And if she's wearing this dress and it's lovely, it's very shiny. <laughs> I don't know if I would have noticed the dress if she wasn't in the dress. If it was just like a dress hanging there, I'd go, oh, what's that lovely piece of material lying on the ground? And I wouldn't have given it a second thought. But that's not what's happening here. <laughs> I'm going to do, have to do the entire show distracted. <laughs> which I've never done before. As regular viewers to the show will know. It's always a, the height of professionalism and focus from me. But I'm a little bit kind of, oh, and I can't, you 
know, I can't be doing that. I could get into trouble. <laughs> this is sexual harassment. <laughs> but who's harassing who? <laughs> exactly. Do you know as well, in the sexual harassment law, like when you work in the office, it is sexual harassment to joke about sexual harassment. <laughs> Does that leave me? <laughs> a sad, lonely old pervert. That's. <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> Don't look at her! What the heck is wrong with you? She was, she was looking right at me. And then again, I am standing on stage with a big shiny light shining on me. <laughs> I'll be calm. I'll, I won't let it affect my performance and I'll. And I'll be back right after the commercials. Welcome back to the big show of shows. Tonight's show is all about... I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying not to think about the girl in the nice dress. <laughs> I, did, I made it all the way through the monologue. Come on. Will you not look at her? Do not look at her. I can see you pointing the camera at her. Now put it back. She'll know I'm talking about her if you do that. <laughs> Not as much as your eyes, <clears throat> Mandy. <laughs> Not as much as your eyes, girl, in the attractive dress. <laughs> yeah, there she is. And I agree about the girl in the brown dress. But this is not a lovely dress. It was the dress that caught my eye, and then I went, wait, who's in that? I mean, and, uh, and yeah. Who, there you go. That's I agree. You I may be, I, you know, I may be, I may be a little gay for her, actually. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of distracting. She's kind of distracting. I'm kind of like... <laughs> Guess what happened tonight? Rachel Ray said she might be gay for a girl. <laughs> the girl's called Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hi. This is Nicole, everybody. And I said she was wearing a lovely dress. Could you show the folks the dress, Nicole? You see, I wasn't lying. It's a, it's a, in fact, I wonder if we've got a photographer here. Could you take a photograph of us together? Is it all right if I? Yes, right. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Wait, one more like this all right. and put your foot up. Oh, all right. <laughs> I like it. You can stay. Nicole, everybody, we gotta go. Good night. Guess what? <laughs> I'm very excited. Really? I thought you were gay. No, no. <laughs> excited. Well, when you did that, oh, guess what? Isn't that a gay thing? It can be a gay thing, but it's also excited. I'll tell you, why are you excited, Craig? I hear you ask through your sleep. <laughs> why excited? Because... One of the studio audience tonight is Australian. <laughs> she was there, Vanessa, did you see? Hi, say hi to the... Whoop, she blew me a kiss. You know, in Australia, that means we're married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll get uh, alimony soon. <laughs> So anyway, I found, because sometimes I like to talk to the ladies and gentlemen here and, you know, bribe them to some, to laugh at the lame crap I come up with and, uh, you know, free candy and stuff. And I said, I said to Vanessa, I said, have you ever been to Club Kakadu in Sydney? Because she's from Sydney, which is in Australia. And, and she said she hadn't been there, which makes me think, A, she's lying. <laughs> or B, she's not really Australian. <laughs> Or see all three lying, not Australian, never. Have you been to Club Kakadu? Or I could be underage. Oh, you could be underage. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you went too quickly. <laughs> Club Kakadu is the Chuck E. Cheese of Australia. <laughs> Do not judge 
Excuse me. How old, how, speak into my jacket. How old are you? I'm 19. I was there in 1987. Yeah, that would probably make you underage at the time. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have anything to say other than I'm ashamed. <laughs> Join me when I'll try and be better. On Monday night, right, Mary Steenburgen couldn't be here because her mum was sick, and uh, Lisa Ammerman, who's the producer who works here, who was booking Mary, I brought her on. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> She's over there. Come on, on. You can be on again. Come on. Come on, Lisa. laughing at me already. Hey, listen, they're laughing. Take what you can get. <laughs> so, um, everybody coming tonight then, so far? <laughs> yeah? Yes. All right. All right. The, the other night when you were on and I was making fun of you, I didn't mean any of that. You know that, right? Sure. I mean, it's just a joke. Sure. And since then, I've seen the sexual harassment video. <laughs> and I feel just awful. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, that's good. Everybody's here. Lisa, it's always nice to see you, uh, but the guests will be here, right? So you don't have to come out and pretend to be the guest again. Yes. All right, off yes, you go then. Thank you. Off you go. <laughs> Lisa Ammerman. I know I said I'd watch the sexual harassment video, but she's adorable. <laughs> there is someone in the studio audience who apparently does an impression of me. I know! <laughs> How can that even happen? I'm so kind of bland. <laughs> Chunky, Ch who is the, uh, who is the person? Ch this is Chunky, he's a professional warm-up comedian. Don't get too close. Hi. Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas. Craig, yeah. I really think you're going to, you, you, not only does this person look a lot like you, yeah. but sounds right, okay. so bring much it down, like bring it Sabrina, down. Come, yeah, on yeah, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Yeah. No, no, no. Come on down. Come on oh, down okay. here. Yeah. Yeah. Hello there. Hi. What, what's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina. Hi. Hi, Hi Sabrina. <laughs> you doing an impression of me? Yes, I do. All right, this is the part of the show I hate that I always have to do this. So you do, you do take that okay. and do, the, do me at the start of the show, and I'll go and see what Drew Carey's up to. Okay. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, I'm Craig Ferguson. You naughty donkeys. Remind you of anyone? <laughs> We'll be back in a minute. You know, some people, some people allege that when I do the show the day after Christmas, he doesn't actually come in the day after Christmas. He pre-tapes that show. Well, I am now going to be able to prove to you that it's the day after Christmas, because we have two audience members who are wearing their Christmas sweaters, and they are right here. Gentlemen, please come on. There you are. Now, what are your names, gentlemen? Justin. Justin and... Brian. Brian. Justin and Brian, have you guys been enjoying herbal cigarettes this evening? Because <laughs> <laughs> if you have, this must be really freaking you out! <laughs> now, did you make your own Christmas sweaters? My, fr my friend's mom made it for me. Oh, that's nice. It... No. no, no, no. Who gave this one to me? Yeah, the, so, so yeah. she makes Christmas sweaters. They're very nice. Is there anything on the back or is it just Christmas trees? Nope. And then, uh, And then here, this isn't really a Christmas sweater, is it? I made it. You made it? I made it. Yeah, Best it's... Best I ever got. That's nice. And are you guys a couple or, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what'll happen this Christmas? <laughs> 
Maybe we'll all get something we didn't expect. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be back with a big Christmas Day after Christmas Day show.